Hello everyone, there has been um, a debate regarding the similarities and possible differences of mixed methods research designs and multi-methods research designs. There are some authors um, who have actually focused on the similarities of mixed methods and multi-method research designs. And in many cases, they have associated both of these designs with the use of multiple methods of data collection and data analysis. And so, in that sense, they have kind of used mixed methods and multi-methods as synonyms. But there are others who argue that there is some difference between mixed methods research designs and multi-methods research designs. So in this brief presentation, I would like to take the view that there is some level of difference between these two different research designs. <clears throat> so first of all, we will begin with the connotational difference between these two research type of research designs. Conno connotational considerations um, the first thing is the common sense conceptions. And um, in co by connotational considerations, I actually mean the way they have been um, interpreted or the way they, they have been given meaning. These two designs have been given meaning. So the common sense conception is that both are used as synonyms. But um, there are paradigmatic conceptions as well, and in terms of paradigmatic conceptions, the mixed method research design has been considered as a research design that follows the pragmatic approach to um, conducting research, or the inclusive or non-paradigmatic positions. Uh, so, the mixed method research design has uh, been considered as a research design that follows the pragmatic or inclusive research um, approach. And that actually means that the ends justify mean, the use of means in order to find answers to our questions uh, may vary and um, the use of different types of means or different types of data collection and analysis processes to achieve our means is justified. Um, and so we could also call it the non-paradigmatic position because the, 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 the researchers who advocate the use of mixed method research actually go beyond the importance of paradigm and their focus is actually on the importance of finding answers to our questions um, without actually emphasizing uh, working in one paradigm or another paradigm such as the qualitative research paradigm or the quantitative research paradigm. The multi-method research design or, um, on the other hand is the research design that actually comes as a result of the idealistic, exclusive, or paradigmatic position. Because in multi-method research design, there is no mixing of, uh, the, of the different research methods that are generally considered belonging to one paradigmatic position or another paradigmatic position. And so, um, in multi-method research design, actually the idealistic position is taken, or in other words, the exclusive or paradigmatic position. And that actually means that uh, methods across different methods of data collection and data analysis across different paradigms are actually not mixed together. So this is actually the difference between mixed method research designs and multi-method research design in terms of the paradigmatic conceptions. Now we move on to the methodological consideration. So how methodologically 
<coughs> different approaches are taken when we are following mixed method re uh, methods research designs um, and multiple uh, uh, method research designs. So in mixed method research designs, generally there is use of a variety of both qualitative and quantitative data collection and analysis procedures or methods. Um, and so here you can see the focus is on a variety of both qualitative and quantitative. So generally in most mixed method research designs, both qualitative and quantitative data collection methods and data analysis procedures are followed. And therefore, this uh, particular research design in terms of methodological considerations is actually making use of a mix of both types of data collection and analysis procedures. Then the multi-method research designs have been associated with the use of a variety of either qualitative or quantitative collection and analysis, data collection and analysis methods. And this actually means either, the focus is on either or. So if you are making use of multi-methods um, and you are doing quantitative studies following positivistic research paradigms, you will have, I, you will have to make use of quantitative um, data collection and analysis procedures. Um, and on the other hand, if you are conducting qualitative studies, in that case, um, the expectation will be that you collect, uh, you actually collect data, qualitative data, and do analysis of qualitative data through a variety of means that are actually qualitative in nature. So there is no mixing of um, the data collection and analysis methods from the qualitative and quantitative research uh, designs, um, or the data collection and analysis procedures that, um, that are actually uh, used in quantitative researches and qualitative research. They are not mixed together, they are not used together in, this, in these particular uh, research designs that follow multiple multi-methods. So multi-methods, although they make use of more than one data collection and analysis processes, they, those data collection processes are, and, and analysis processes are exclusively either qualitative or quantitative in nature. And so, if we, um, if we move on further and give some example of this, data collection in mixed method research, to elaborate on this, in mixed method research, as I said earlier, you, one can make use of a mixture of quantitative data collection processes and tools such as questionnaires, checklists, and also qualitative data collection processes such as observations and interviews. And also, um, in terms of analysis, there, because we have these two different types of data, uh, the quantitative data and the qualitative data in this particular uh, research design, we can make use of statistical as well as thematic or textual analysis. So because our data that generally comes from questionnaire is in the form of numbers or statistics, um, as a result, we will have to adopt statistical measures for, can, uh, for actually doing the analysis. On the other hand, data that generally comes through observations and interviews will be in textual form. And so we will have to um, actually uh, do thematic analysis or textual analysis of that data. So you can see that in mixed method research design, there is um, a mixture 
um, uh, uh, mix use of or use of both quantitative and um, uh, quantitative data collection and analysis procedures and also qualitative data collection and analysis procedures. On the other hand, <clears throat> in multiple method research design, the data collection is in the form of interviews, observations, or questionnaires, checklists, or scales. In other words, you can uh, make use of only of qualitative data collection methods or quantitative data collection um, methods. But you actually do not make use of both. In other words, you are not actually mixing qualitative and quantitative data collection uh, methods. Similarly, uh, because we have either made use of um, qualitative data collection tools and procedures or quantitative data collection tools or procedures and we have not mixed these two. So the analysis will generally be either statistical or thematic or and textual. So this is actually basically the main difference um, that has been associated with mixed methods research designs and multiple re uh, method research design. I must however reiterate that though there is this uh, <clears throat> very uh, interesting um, kind of difference between these two research designs, but there are authors that have associated actually um, both types of quantitative, qualitative uh, data with one or another research designs, and there are authors who have actually uh, use these two types of research designs as synonyms. But these are different positions that have been taken. Um, on, for me, I think this, this is uh, easier and more convenient to understand by actually looking at these two research paradigms in the way I looked over here. And that is that in mixed method research designs, data collection and analysis procedures are combined and they are mixed. And the, the, the position here is actually inclusive in terms of data collection and analysis procedures. But while in multiple method research designs, the position is exclusive. That actually means that you either make use of quantitative or qualitative data collection and analysis procedures. Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye.